What's up 392 gang? It's your boy 392 rolling back with another video and today I just want to show you some uh, HID headlight tips and tricks. I know everybody has to go through it sometime your headlight will go out and you trying to learn how to get it in or how to put it in without having to go pay somebody to put it in and luckily I've been been through it a few times with this car uh, my last car my last car my RT I had to go through the wheel well to put the actual bulb in so it was really hard to put it in this car is a lot different so let me show you give you a look at the car get my hood up it is hot so I got my mask on because I went somewhere earlier and then I have my towel to kind of keep my head dry this is the passenger side and I don't know if you can see but way in the corner is where you put your bulb at and those little beads around it is the little locking mechanisms that you screw on the attachment that's attached to your bulb that wire here at the bottom that's your actual plug that plugs into your wire I mean to your box of your HIDs now if you don't have HIDs you're not gonna have that plug you're gonna have a different type of plug this is the locking mechanism that goes around your HID lights. This is the part that screws on to your car to keep your light bulb attached. This part here, this horseshoe, uh, horseshoe shape part here goes in just like this. You put it in like this, counterclockwise, and as you put it on there, you twist it clockwise and it should lock in place. Okay. These are my bulbs. I ordered these off of Amazon. These are 8K. They have 35 watts. That your bulb is. You can't just get any type of bulb and say, hey, that bulb looks cool. And you just get a bulb and put it in there because it's not going to work. This is what the bulb actually looks like. Looks just like my factory bulb. Okay. So let me set that down. Go on here. Back out the car. This is my factory bug. And as you see, they look just alike. Not exactly alike, but they look very similar. Okay? So it's very important that you look at your wattage of what your bulb is to your car. So whatever aftermarket bulb that you get, it is compatible to your car. Okay. Uh, I know a lot of people get these fancy bulbs and they look nice and they might even fit in there like they're supposed to. But the wattage, the voltage might be off and sometimes it won't come on or it might uh, trigger a check engine light in your car and i know a lot of bulbs have done that uh i know some guys that put some bulbs in a fog lamps that wasn't compatible to their car and it threw a check engine light on so that's very important to remember also okay another thing is i got rubber gloves on okay and then that's another thing you are not supposed to touch these bulbs with your hand at all okay anytime you touch those bulbs with, with your hand or if you even rub it it's very important that you get like a little alcohol pad and rub the bulb because for some reason when you touch the bulb it'll cause it to blow out or it doesn't come on for some reason so that's very important so remember that this here is the dust cover. After you install your bulb, this is what goes on after it. It keeps the dust. You put it in there and it, it goes in the same way. You put it in counterclockwise and you turn it clockwise and it goes in, locks in place. It keeps dust and anything going into your light, water and stuff like that. It's actually airtight, okay? So now, this is my factory bulb. And as you can see, the stem 
is brown and you see the little bubble in there that has like a little brown spot so it's it's pretty old you know so uh this bug i typed in the same on there okay so i'm gonna go ahead and attach this bulb this part here goes around the black part it snaps into place and now all you have to do is plug your wiring harness to the bottom of this and you stick it in be careful when you stick it in if you stick it in and you get the rubbing stuff that little blue line at the bottom you're gonna end up cracking it if you crack that line or scratch it your bulbs not gonna work that's that's very important to remember so when you put it in make sure you put it in real gently make sure you get it in the hole when you get it in the hole counterclockwise kind of put it in there feel it you just gonna have to do a lot of touch and feel you can't really see it because it's way in the corner and as you stick it in there you try to feel the little clips that's in there on the car and you stick these clips that's inside this uh, screw cap where that little black stuff is on that little screw cap that's the part that goes in and you twist it clockwise and it should lock in place okay so it's very important don't touch the bulb wear gloves when you're installing your headlight bulbs and do not scratch that little line at the bottom if you have hids this is for hid lights okay so i'm finna work my magic get it screwed in and i hit hit you guys back here up 392 games your boy 392 rolling this is actually the next day uh i know i was supposed to give you an update on my headlight installation but i came across uh some other issues and all this is is trial and error you know you live and learn you do this do something one way you do something another way and I'm learning just like everybody else. And the stuff that I find out and the stuff that I learn, I share with you guys. Uh, there's no big damage to the car, if you're wondering about that. But I did hook uh, my new light bulb in. Still didn't come on. Actually, it came in and then went back out. Uh, so I didn't understand what was going on. I thought I might have had an electrical issue or shortage or something somewhere. Uh, this car ain't number three years old, so it shouldn't have no major issues like that, I would think. But uh, what happened is, is I did take it to the dealership and he came out with an estimate. He said, well, I said, well, I told him what was going on. I said, well, you know, I did this, I did that and whatever. And he said, yeah, well, we're going to find out what's going on. He said, we're going to install a bulb and put it in for you and then we'll take care of it. Okay, the estimate was around like $376 because the bulb that I bought, I thought something was wrong with the bulb, so I went ahead and returned it to where I bought it from, uh, which was Amazon, so I returned it and got a credit for it. So I went up there and for them to install one of their bulbs, I said, well, maybe this bulb isn't that compatible. It, it had all the right specs and everything that I needed for this bulb, just like my, my factory bulb, but maybe it's just not up to specs with this bulb. And maybe I just need to get a factory bulb. So I go up there and of course, when you go to the dealership, they're gonna hit you on top of the head. So $376, the bulb itself was $255, which is crazy. And then the rest is the labor. So, I was like, screw it, go ahead and do it. You know, I'm, I'll get tired of messing this hell. I've been messing this hell life for about two weeks because I uh, already damaged two previous bulbs because every time I put it in, it kept getting loose and I wasn't screwing the retainer clip that's attached to the bulb, the little white thing I showed you in the previous video. I didn't attach it to the car that good. So anytime I hit over a bump or something, it, it, it would loosen up. So every once in a while, I would just raise the hood and I would check the bud to make sure it's in there tight and it'd be loose. So anyway, by it falling, you know, kept going loose, it, the little stem up under the bulb, the little stem that I showed you, it would hit the car or something like that, the body of the car, and it would short the bulb out. So anyway, to make a long story short, they discovered it was a fuse, okay? It was a fuse under the hood 
that controls your headlights. And I'm gonna show you the fuse. Okay, there's the car. I know everybody likes to see the car. Thank you to all my new subscribers. Uh, <clears throat> if you're tuning in for the first time, I appreciate you guys tuning in. in work and I got other stuff doing, uh, going on that uh, sometimes it might take me about a week to put a video up, but I'm gonna put videos up consistently, so. But that's uh, Antoinette, that's the name that I named her, you know. Got her cleaned up today. Got a sparkly. I'm gonna come with another video and show you how to clean those tailpipes too. Those tailpipes, especially if you uh, got an exhaust system like mine. Mine's is just from the cat back. And when you don't have those mufflers and resonators on there to catch that extra crap, that, that all that stuff goes on to your tips of your tailpipes. And I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to clean that. That's going to be another video. But anyway, raise the hood. Okay, this is your fuse box right here. It's on the left side, on the passenger side. You hit the pin, you open it up. The two smallest fuses farthest to the right. focus in are 20 amp fuses now these fuses are like the smallest ones okay I ain't focusing okay there it is those are the two smallest fuses the one on the right is your passenger the one on the left right here is your is your driver's side so what happened is this fuse here on the right, which is my passenger uh, light headlight bulb fuse, had a had a burn had a short in it. And that's what it was, and it so happened that I took my old headlight up there with me, and I just had it with me, and he actually hooked my old headlight up, and it worked. So all he did was jiggle the fuse a little bit and my headlight came on. So I'm out here spending money on headlight headlight bulbs and ordering headlight bulbs and going to AutoZone and spending money on headlight bulbs. And you know, I went through probably three sets of headlight bulbs. The other two I returned. The first one I bought from AutoZone was 160 bucks, a HID headlight, which is crazy, okay? So once I found them on Amazon, the same uh, attributes as that one, the same wattage, the same power, I went ahead and returned that one and got my money back, of course, and then I ordered the ones from Amazon. And like I said, they was coming on, going off, coming on, going off, and then sometimes it didn't come on at all. And it's because this fuse here was had, had a burn in it. So, down. And as you see, that's what kept my headlight from turning on. A little $2 fuse had me out here buying $100 light bulbs. So you see the burn there on the side. And that doesn't mean that your car has a short in it just because it has a, a little burn in it. It just means that it's just wear and tear, you know, and who knows by me uh, buying these different headlights and the headlight getting loose and touching while it was engaged to the power, probably could have did that also. But I don't know. I was driving one night and then my headlight just went out. So like I say, the fuse might've been bad or going bad anyway. But that little fuse is what stopped my headlight from coming on. So I returned the two headlight bulbs back to Amazon. I returned the one I had bought from AutoZone. And I still have my factory headlight bulb that actually went out, that I thought that went out, still works. So just a tidbit for everybody, you know, uh, 
like I say, you don't know these things until you start going through the motions. And going to the dealership on these cars is probably the last thing that you will want to do. But anyway, you still don't want to take your car to just anybody also because these cars are expensive. And you just don't want to take your car to anybody to work on it. You know, everybody don't, don't take care of your car like you would or a professional at a dealership. Okay? Because my last car that I had... Uh, they was working on it. They didn't have no rubber mats on the side. They didn't have stuff around to keep from getting scratched. And my car ended up getting scratched on the hood. Not this car, but my last my last charger. I had an RT before this one. And I was very upset about that. So, that's why I want to let you guys know. Uh, you know, you live and learn. So, you know, I'm just glad that you know, that I did learn this and that, that I'm able to help somebody out there that's probably going through the same issues that I went through and not knowing what the issue is. And the last but not least, what's icing on the cake is the little retainer clip that I told you to clip behind your actual bulb to screw into your car. I took it off because I'm, I'm trying to figure out how can I get it on there to where it's tight, to where it's not loose again. And I took the bulb off of it and I just had the returner and I stuck it in there. And then when I did that, of course, it drops in the car somewhere. So I still don't have my headlight in yet. Nobody has that retainer clip, not even the dealership. The dealership didn't have it. AutoZone don't have it. Advanced, I go to Amazon and I found the right retainer clips and I had to order them. So they should be here, they said, by Friday. My birthday is Saturday, so hopefully they'll be here by Friday so I can kick it, you know, so I can ride around. I don't want to just ride around the daytime and nighttime come. I got to go and I got to park it, you know. But, uh, you know, one thing out of another, man, like I say, it's just things that happen, you know, uh, it frustrates you. But once you find out what the real issue is, like I was really tripping out thinking that I had a short somewhere in the car. I thought something was going on. I thought. I was thinking all negative thoughts and it ended up being a fuse. So if I would have known that, I could have changed the fuse and then without me even taking the bulb out and my bulb would have came back on, you know. But you know, like I say, it's just one of those deals, man, you know, and, and, and it's, it's really good that you have these type of vlogs or videos to, to let people know, you know, things like this that goes on and happens and stuff so they'll know what to do because that's what these videos about we we learn things and we share it with other people so that way it can kind of help them with their issues and hopefully they don't have to go through a lot of the things that me and probably a lot of other people go through you know so like i say all the new subscribers i thank you very much c3 car uh, car club of tampa bay shout out to you guys and Shout out to my man Fat Cash, shout out to my man Garage Driven, Garage Driven uh, did a lot of stuff for my car, did Lauren Springs, did my diffuser, he did some stuff for my car, shout out to him. Uh, Modern Day Muscle is another friend of mine out of Tampa, shout out to you guys. And uh, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Uh, if you have any uh, ideas or any suggestions, feel free to comment below. Let me know what you're feeling. Let me know what, what you might want to see in the video. And I can uh, do my best to come with it. And like I say, I'm still kind of mesmerized about all these things I've been going through for the last week. But it's fun. You know, I wouldn't trade it for the world. I, I like this car. You know, I like everything about it, you know. And going through stuff like this helps me to understand, you know, how to help others as well as myself. In the near future, when I get another one, uh, probably a wide body Hellcat. But anyway, thank you guys for tuning in. Until next time, peace. <laughs>